So you can see how sending off mixes to each performer is just as easy as just sending differing channels, differing amounts of each channel down that uh, aux end that feeds that particular uh, performer's monitor. Now that could be an amp and to an onstage monitor, or it could be to an in-ear transmitter which feeds their little belt uh, pack and so they can hear it through their in-ear monitors. Just listen to what they want and if the mix is going to be going in their ears, give them totally what they want because it's really not affecting anybody else. Though if they are listening to an onstage monitor, you may have to kind of play the bad cop, you know, once in a while to keep the stage volumes down. There's nothing worse than a bunch of musicians all competing with each other until the stage volume is just so loud that you can hear it above the main front of house uh, speakers. And then that really starts to, to mess with your main mix in terms of, you know, competing with it. So uh, things to remember, if a drummer is placed in one of those drummer's booths, then other members of the band may have a hard time uh, hearing him. Feed some hi-hat and snare uh, to other musicians' mixes to help them kind of keep in time, particularly if they're actually far apart on the stage. Uh, there have actually been times when I've been I've guest mixed and I thought that, you know, man, this guitarist on stage is just really sloppy timing. Uh, the first thing I'll do is walk over and check out his monitor mix. And if he's not hearing drums through, you know, his monitors, if he's just hearing drums through the air, you know, 30 feet away, and just hearing it through 30 feet, then he's hearing the drums 30 milliseconds late, and he's going to play late, like nine times out of 10, just a little kick, snare, and hi-hat sending out to that uh, guitarist will just tighten up that guitarist, you know, in a heartbeat have them playing perfectly in time. Same thing with pitch. Some, I mean, some people are just bad singers, right? But if you have a good singer that's singing out of tune, then make sure that they are getting a good source of reference pitch, like, uh, say, a piano or a guitar through their mix. So uh, mixing monitors requires you to be kind of part engineer, part psychologist, part diplomat. <laughs> just make sure that everyone's happy and most importantly, hearing everything they need to hear uh, to turn in an on-pitch, on-time, solid performance.